Tonight, high hopes for a release from prison for a former teenage drug dealer known throughout Detroit as White Boy Rick. He's been locked up for almost 30 years on a nonviolent crime. Simon Shakehead is outside the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice downtown where a court hearing is set for tomorrow. Tomorrow's hearing for White Boy Rick will be his best chance at freedom, but our legal expert says there are no guarantees. After 28 years in prison, Richard Wersch, a.k.a. White Boy Rick, is hoping for a miracle. The one-time teenage drug dealer and FBI informant locked up after a single conviction for cocaine possession back in May of 1987. White Boy Rick was just 17 years old back then and is currently the longest-serving prisoner in the state of Michigan for a nonviolent crime. Maybe in a federal court he would have a chance. The difference is federal judges are appointed for life. State court judges are elected. High-profile defense attorney David Grimm once worked as a federal prosecutor on drug cases. He tells Action News that political reasons could keep a judge from releasing the now 46-year-old Wersch Friday morning at a resentencing hearing, even though the law that put Wersch behind bars is no longer on the books. If this judge would let him out tomorrow under this cruel and unusual punishment theory. If, if she did that, the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office would appeal her. A groundswell of community support has helped White Boy Rick get more attention recently for his case. But Prosecutor Kim Worthy has publicly voiced opposition to his release. Former FBI Supervisor Andy Bartnowak has worked on cases where White Boy Rick helped provide credible information and says there's really no benefit to keeping him in prison. What really makes this case different than most every other one is the fact that he served an extremely long time, almost 30 years. I don't know the, the reason that he needs to, be, to serve any longer. He, he has provided cooperation to both the federal and the local uh, law enforcement authorities. He served an extraordinary, inordinate amount of time. And most importantly, what makes this case different from everything else is that he was sentenced under a law that doesn't even exist on the books anymore. Action News will be in the courtroom to bring you the very latest breaking news on this case as it happens tomorrow morning. From downtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.